San Francisco a guy from over 40 years ago from Howard Gossett and said, the real fact of the matter is nobody reads ads. People read what interests them, but sometimes it's an ad. This is over 40 years old, but it gains more relevancy with each passing day. And it's, it's a quote actually more like a dictum as far as I'm concerned. It kind of informs the way in which we as uh, marketers and ad agencies should, in you know, the respectful engagement that we have with consumers is something that we should always remember about that, you know, just because these new uh, avenues for engagement with consumers happen doesn't mean we uh, are just going to assume that they're going to engage. And just because there's a platform for more of a two-way conversation, if we're not handling it correctly, there's a good chance they're not going to want to engage. So whether it's broadcast or any other online or direct or any other new medium that's emerging as we speak, the same rules are still going to be applied. So either be entertaining, useful, relevant, or you're going to be ignored. And I actually wrote this slide, but if you think about it, being ignored is actually an easy way out nowadays. These channels are opened up. You'd be lucky to be ignored. I mean, being exposed to things that, that brands do is, is, is a much worse uh, thing. So I have three examples. And again, in answering this online, uh, the online panel question, I actually found plenty of examples, but we narrowed down to three. The first one that I'm going to show is from uh, Drogue 5, which is an amazing agency, um, and as, as you probably know. But, um, the examples for Puma Social, and they created this it's an online campaign. They, they started off with a digital video that I thought was really an amazing way to uh, rope off a new type of athlete um, called the actual Puma Social thing that says, here's the after hours athlete. So this campaign is about an intensity about athletes, just like the 90s and the 80s of the world, but it's a different type of athlete. The ones that are excelling at foosball, or late night pinball, or late night bowling, or that kind of thing. No less competitive, it's just a different kind of feel. And um, the first example is one manifestation of which is online as well as mobile platforms. So uh, it's called the Life Scoreboard, and we have a case study here. So we'll play that, and then we can talk a little bit about it. 